this is not just a one-year event. I mean, we essentially have been in the trough since 2000. There have been some years that have poverty declined a little bit, income went up, uh, but it's been a rugged road since 2000, so we've had more than a decade of difficult numbers, uh, and perhaps people on the panel will talk about it. I think we can expect that this is not about to end. We can look forward to more poverty and lower income in the future as well. Uh, but it's noticeable that we have a long-term trend here that is not very pleasant. Um, here's the poverty rate for kids in female-headed families and married couple families. It also went up, as all the poverty rates did just about. I call this to your attention because for those of us interested in policy, unless we can do something about poverty in female-headed families, we are not going to have major impacts on policy in the United States because the poverty rates among kids in female-headed families are so high, four or five times as high as in married couple families. And not only that, but unfortunately, the demographic trends in the United States are that we put more and more and more kids into female-headed families. And as a result of that, we take them out of a situation, married couple family, uh, where they would have much lower poverty rate. And so think about this. Even if we had successful poverty programs that actually did reduce the poverty rate, we still could have an increase in poverty because of the demographic trends. Uh, so this is a very important piece of data. Uh, to keep in mind when you're thinking about what our policies for poverty ought to be. 